Not six launches, not nine launches, up to 25 launches per year just at Starbase. SpaceX is preparing to bring the colossal Starship into the fierce race of rocket launches. Let's find out more about this on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Until SpaceX has realized the stability of its progress with Starship, now is the most suitable time for the company to prove that its new vehicle can fly as designed to the whole world. A recent documentation from the FAA has revealed that SpaceX has proposed increasing the launch frequency of their monster Starship to 25 times a year at the East Complex in Brownsville, Texas. The proposal details include up to 25 annual Starship Super Heavy Orbital launches, up to 25 annual landings of Starship, up to 25 annual landings of Super Heavy. The proposal also includes vehicle upgrade resolutions. However, the most notable figure is the proposed 25 launches. This number is significantly increased to five times more than the plan that the FAA approved back in 2022 and three times more than the nine launches SpaceX requested for this year. Therefore, the FAA has to conduct an evaluation of its impact on the surrounding environment. The FAA's evaluation of a permit or license app includes a review of public safety issues like overflight of populated areas and payload contents national security or foreign policy concerns, insurance requirements for the launch operator, and the potential environmental impacts. The FAA stated that they'll release more information about the draft environmental assessment for public review and comment by the end of this month. Right after the assessment's release, the agency will hold four public meetings, the first one to take place August 13th, including an online public meeting. Drop a heart in the comments to support SpaceX. Surely in the future, SpaceX's Starship will not disappoint. They have an aura that makes me believe that only they can change the world. In addition to the proposal in Texas, don't forget that the company is also aiming to fly Starship over 100 times a year from Florida. Many people might be surprised when I say over 100 launches because wasn't there just recent information about SpaceX wanting 44 launches at LC-39A? Yeah, and that's not all. SpaceX has even more ambitious plans for a second launch pad nearby, Space Launch Complex SLC-37 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. At a series of public meetings held in March, the public was invited to comment on plans to launch Starship from SLC-37 up to 76 times a year. This means that SpaceX aims to launch its next-generation rocket up to 120 times a year within a six-mile stretch on the Florida coast. The U.S. Space Force is currently preparing a draft environmental assessment to be released to the public this winter, which will contain SpaceX's final proposed launch cadence. A representative of the Space Force emphasized that the launch numbers could change between now and then. This will depend on the development of the rocket and feedback from nearby environmental organizations. More importantly, the number of Starship launches is also influenced by several legal challenges, the latest of which we know involves opposition from two major space companies. Blue Origin and ULA. While public comments on SLC-37 have not yet been released, comments on Pad 39A at Kennedy have been published, and they include strong assessments from Blue Origin and ULA about the plans there. Both companies have expressed particular concern about the impact of such a high flight rate on other launch service providers with infrastructure at Kennedy and Cape Canaveral. Just one Starship launch site is likely to disrupt other launch operations in the area and cause environmental impacts, as discussed in detail below. The impacts are certain to be amplified if coming from two launch sites in such close proximity, ULA said in its comment. For example, SpaceX intends to conduct up to 44 launches a year from LC-39A. If SpaceX aims for a comparable number at SLC-37, that lead to 100 launches per year, or one every three days or so, the comment continued. Blue Origin, which aims to launch its new Glenn rocket from LC-36 at Cape Canaveral, proposed a number of mitigating factors that made it clear its views on the launch operations across both sites as a zero-sum game. Those included a suggestion to require SpaceX or the government to indemnify third parties for losses caused by Starship's operations, including commercial disruptions. That is unacceptable. They are clearly trying to hinder the progress of SpaceX's Starship for their own interests. However, at any cost, there's likely going to be constructions at the launch sites, including water tanks, fuel tanks, catch towers, and dozens of launches, if not hundreds, each year from both launch sites. So what do you think about this? Given the development of Starship and the current legal battles, do you think that SpaceX can successfully hit a larger number of launches each year from both Florida sites combined? Share your thoughts down there in the comments. 
When this is combined with what SpaceX already has at Starbase, including an existing tower and a second one under construction, in the near future, SpaceX could have four active Starship launch sites. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has incredibly ambitious plans for Starship, which he sees as a key enabler for colonizing Mars and expanding the light of consciousness through the cosmos. He eventually wants to launch Starship multiple times a day, with each launch delivering hundreds of tons of cargo to low Earth orbit or beyond. The company has its own goal of ramping up its Starship production facilities to maximize rocket production. The company is nearing completion of a new Starship factory with a total area of 60,000 square meters, standing 18 meters tall and featuring a closed roof structure that optimizes interior workspace. Because of this advantage, the production power of SpaceX's new factory is not just at a normal level, but at an insane level. During a visit to Star Factory with the famous YouTuber Everyday Astronaut, Elon shared some astonishing numbers about the production capacity with a particular focus on Starship. He let us know that SpaceX's initial goal is to produce a ship every three days. This means SpaceX aims to make over 100 ships a year in the coming years. While Elon didn't talk about Super Heavy specifically, I think its production rate is going to be similar to, if not even greater than that of Starship. Looking at further goals, Elon has previously mentioned his ambition to make up to 300 ships a year. But his latest revelation is even more mind-blowing. He said long-term, we'll probably be making 1,000 ships a year. This means production speed would shift from a ship every three days to three ships every day. Compared to how long it takes NASA, Blue Origin, or ULA to create a complete SLS, New Glenn, or a Vulcan prototype, that takes years. Not only will hardware production soar, but engine production is also set to skyrocket. SpaceX currently produces one Raptor engine every day. Recently, Elon responded to a tweet about the tour video saying, We could build a lot more, but the next version of Raptor is really the one to scale up production. This means Star Factory will enable even more engines to be produced daily. This new version could be the Raptor 3. Increasing production rates is crucial as the frequency of launches will rise dramatically, possibly reaching thousands per year to support the Mars colonization. Additionally, the draft EIS for Starship in Florida revealed that the new Starship version will feature up to 35 engines in Super Heavy and 9 in the ship, further driving the demand for engines. The new engine's advantage lies in its simpler design, which makes production faster and more reliable. Combined with Star Factory's continuous production and automation system, we can truly believe in this incredible engine production speed that Elon's revealed. We'll dedicate another episode to delve deeper into the Raptor engine, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Overall, up to this point, we've seen all the dramatic changes in the development of Starship. SpaceX is constantly striving, and more importantly, they know where they stand and where they're heading in the success of the Starship project. Increasing the launch cadence at all sites has proven this. SpaceX understands that it can do this and is ready to face all the difficulties down the road. Moving into 2025 is expected to be a major milestone for SpaceX's Starship program, especially in the framework of cooperation with NASA for the Artemis project. SpaceX plans to test propellant transfer in space, a key technology for deep space missions and necessary for Starship to operate as a lunar landing vehicle. Additionally, the company may conduct Raptor engine ignition tests in the space environment, marking an important step in demonstrating Starship's capabilities for complex missions. These tests pose many significant challenges, such as managing fluids in zero gravity and controlling the temperature of cryogenic fuels. However, if successful, they'll open up tremendous prospects for deep space exploration, not just to the moon, but beyond. It's crucial to learn from past incidents, such as the issues with the second stage of Falcon 9, to ensure safety and efficiency in the development process. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye.